guys, let's face it. If you're out there in the dating game, you'll understand that girls have high expectations of us these days. They want us to be sensitive, they want us to be modern, and they love you to be able to cook. Nothing impresses them more. Imagine the benefit you'll have out of being able to present a restaurant quality meal. When I started cooking, I think one of the biggest problems I found was I'd attempt a recipe, but I just didn't understand the basics. Saute and chop the leek. Yeah, right. The show that I'm going to run through with today will teach you basic and advanced techniques, and I promise you, you will know how to cook a restaurant quality meal if you go through it properly. It's in real time, it's simple, it's good fun. Let's have a look. Well, we're here at uh, New Farm Delicatessen with Vincenzo Anello. When I go and look at oils, I see in olive oils, I see particularly a range from extra virgin, perhaps all the way down through to plain olive oil. What's the difference between the oils? What should we look for, and how do they come about? Extra virgin olive oil used mainly for uh, marinating and, uh, and preserving and uh, salads and uh, so forth to your basic olive oil where you use mainly for cooking. Okay. I noticed that uh, we've got a, a premium extra virgin here that's wrapped and obviously we've seen it available in the tins. Explain why? Yes, that's to protect it from light and um, all oils should be protected from light and heat. So kept in a dark cool room just like you would with wine. Alright, well thanks Vinci. Now listen mate, I need some ciabatta and some prosciutto and we're going to go home and cook some dinner. Well gentlemen, this is the dish that we're going to be preparing today. What we've done is a free range chicken breast wrapped in prosciutto, served it over spinach done in lemon and butter sauce. We've got some pine nuts in that as well and I've put a creamy garlic mash on the bottom. Give it a little bit of body, learn a couple more cooking skills and uh, I can assure you I think the presentation's fantastic and the taste is sensational. Before we start, I want to make sure that my oven's properly organised. Be careful, this is a bit of a trap for young players that if you pull this out, your food doesn't spill out over the top. I've got it set high enough so I've got space for my garlic tray to sit in and the plates to warm later on. And I've invested $10 in one of these oven thermometers, which are well and truly worth having. You really do need one. The beauty of this dish is its simplicity. Let's have a look at our ingredients. I've got a free range chicken breast here. It's about 580 grams. Keep that in mind for when you buy. I've got some sliced prosciutto, cut at about one and a half, or what I'd call credit card thickness when you go to your delicatessen. And out of the fridge, we've got unsalted butter. Don't put salt into your food. It's a bit like letting your girlfriend move in. It's a lot harder to get out later on. So what we've got here are the basic essentials that you're gonna need to cook the dish properly. I've got two saucepans and lids. One's bigger than the other. My theory is that if you have to think when you're cooking, gee, is this pan big enough? It's not. Always go up one pan size. I love these stainless steel bowls. They look the part and you'll always find a use for them. You can pick them up at Coles for about three or four dollars each. A couple of smaller ones help. All right, guys, it's action time. Our date's arrived and uh, she's here with us having a drink now. And we're gonna get started. Using your knob of garlic, I just want to top this, take about the top third off. And the reason so that is when we want to scoop it out later on, we've got enough access to get that garlic out. And with all vegetables, I find the easiest way to cut is longest cut first. If you take the bottom off, you'll find that it won't move around as you're chopping. So not really necessary with the potatoes. This is free range chicken. It's got a beautiful flavor about it. It's got a little bit of fat on it, which will clean off. Whilst it looks slightly wasteful, I'm gonna take that whole section off there with the fat. We don't want to fatten the girl up. We know she'll do that when she gets married anyway. While she's dating, we'll keep her as trim as we can. Silver beet is a fairly viable alternative. Once again, it's a little bit more bitter. If you've got to use silver beet, just make sure that you strip out this main section in the middle because it's quite, quite crunchy and uh, not what we want in this dish. But we're fine. We've got plenty of spinach. So we'll just pop that down. I can hear our chicken starting to brown off. And all we want to do here is seal it. We want to make sure that it's brown so when we bake it, we hold in all the juices. And I mentioned at the start about um, a pre-dinner nibbly. I find entertaining, apart from, you know, cooking this dish tonight for two people using free-range chicken is going to cost you less than $20. It's not a dense ciabatta, so I want to cut it in slightly thicker slices than I might with a denser one. The Maldon sea salt that we talked about, it's hand harvested. This sea salt has a far nicer flavour than normal salts. And you'll see as we go through that the flakes are huge. Well, there's our timer for our chicken. So that's instantly remind us, firstly, that we want to turn the heat down to 200 degrees. And reset my timer here for five minutes. Great. Let's do this dessert. We've got some uh, whipped cream, as I said. And all I'm wanting to do here now is just take a couple of spoonfuls Strawberries for colour. 
and just very gradually, perhaps starting with your fruits, and then I just want to do whatever I want to on the plate. And gentlemen, for an easy, well-presented dessert that really is quite sensational, it's pretty hard to go past something like that. Well guys, what I've preset here is a pretty formal or traditional sort of a setting. I prefer to put my dessert spoon and fork up like that, take away our entree knife and fork, and that's a pretty straightforward setting. And that'll just brown them off. Drain off the juice from my spinach, which you don't probably want to have in here now is the little piece of chicken, but just taking a spoon or two of pine nuts. And don't worry about the pine nuts spilling off the side or whatever, that's all part of the dish. In fact, it's quite nice to have a few pine nuts off the side. And with our butter sauce, over into the meat and around on the outsides of the plate. If you're presenting that to a date, you've come up with this at home. Gentlemen, I can't do anything more to help you from here. Good luck. Sounds of the wickedness, 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 sounds of the